Hey, hey, queens and kings, welcome back. And thank you guys so much for clicking on this video as well as supporting this queen here. Now, I'd like to say welcome to all our new queens and kings because I see we have grown over the 50,000 mark. We are still growing, which I truly appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you all so much. Now, with that being said, speaking of a queen, here I'd like to show you guys how I made my queen versatile sconces here as you guys can see they can be going for your side table or well for your wall as well so i'll tell you guys about it a little bit later how i came up with the name but anyways with that being said queens and kings once again thank you guys so much i truly appreciate you all but if you all would like to see how i created please continue to watch i know you can we stay happy So first off here, I'm going to be recycling some items and where I'm using this styrofoam from the Dollar Tree. You see it come two in a pack and basically I'm showing you guys I cut it in half. You're only going to need one out of the pack, Dollar Tree round mirror. And as you, like I said before, I'm basically recycling some items. So on the back of you see where cardboard and I have command scripts on the back to definitely hang it up on the wall. Now, this DIY going to turn into a another DIY, basically the DIY that you've seen in the middle. And I'm going to show you guys where. But I was starting off to make some wall sconces. And here I'm basically taking this little rhinestone wrap that you get from Hobby Lobby. And I basically glued that around the entire mirror to cover up, you know, the ugliness that you've seen in the beginning. So this is basically how it all look. And now we're going to move on to the next step, which is the styrofoam here. Like I said, I cut it in half. I got some bling scripts here from Hobby Lobby. Then I cut a piece of the cardboard from the Dollar Tree. Now I'm trying to roll it up so therefore it can roll on there um, very well or flatten out around it. But I'm putting this on here because the first idea basically I had it for to give me more support, more ledge, where I'm going to use some other items to create the crown look. So that's basically why I'm actually putting this extra layer of foam board around this foam. All right, Queens and Kings. So as you guys can see, I have also glued my rhinestone wrap around the foam. So here I'm going to take two push lights that I purchased from Amazon, but they are battery operated. I'm going to glue one on the front of this foam as well as, well as one on the back of the foam. I'm trying to think of a name to call it. So here basically I'm just trying to measure to see would it fit flush. It would not touch the mirror. You know, it's not getting in the way or anything like that. And once again, I'm just going to go the second one on the opposite side. Now, basically my idea and plan is to hot glue as well as use some stronger adhesive glue like E6000 or Gorilla Glue or something like that to adhere it to the mirror. But before we do that, I'm just basically showing you guys how to, to operate the lights with the battery. Showing you it goes up higher, it goes to a dim, you could take it down lower, stuff like that. You could put it on a timer. I think it goes from 10 minutes to a, um, 120 so anyways moving along i have already did one side of the sconces here and i'm gonna show you guys basically how i got this look and how i did it here i'm using some utensils that i got from the dollar tree now i got some in this bag here i'm basically recycling because i had them for a while now now at this point here 
I'm taking one each one of the um, utensils and I cut the end part where the spoon portion of the fork part and I cut that off and I did cut it down to a, a shorter size because I don't want the scones to be too long so basically where I grew, glued the round styrofoam and the uh, foam board together with a bling yet basically that's my leverage to help give me some room as well as some port to secure these crystals that's what we're gonna call them to the edge of it so i'm using my hot knife there well it is actually a wood burner the little green thing that you see on the side of me on the right hand side i'm using that to cut the knives or uh, the utensils down shorter now i purchased this item from hobby lobby in store I had a lot of you queens and kings that say you couldn't find it when you went in the store. Honestly, you have to look where the wood is located at because that's where I had to find it at. I couldn't find it where they had the rest of the hot knives and stuff like that. I had to find it for the wood because it's actually a wood burner. So basically, I'm going to use that to cut down. And by this thing gets so hot, it cut directly through this faux glass or plastic because that's basically what it is, a hard plastic. So like I said, once again, I'm just going to cut it down to the size that I measure. I eyeball it. Yeah, I know I eyeball everything. And I'm going to place some hot glue around the edge of where the phone at. And therefore, I'm going to stick one of the crystals into the place. Then after a while, I came a little bit clever and decided to use the hot knife to make holes. So therefore, I could have a little more extra support to secure the crystals around each side. Now, if I did mention, I think I did basically I'm doing short, long, short, long, short, long. That's basically what I'm going with. Okay, Queens and Kings, so just to give you guys a better view of what I'm doing or showing you guys what I am exactly doing. Here I'm making an impression with one of the crystals. And now I'm going to take the hot knife because I found this was much easier to do to make a pre-hole and then place some hot glue in that hole that I made there. And then stick the end of the crystal into that. Yeah, I'm still calling it a crystal. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm still calling crystal. Okay, so, so far it's basically what I have. I'm liking the way that it turned out. It's giving me the look that I want. So I'm very happy at this point here. So I decided to cut the camera off and I was just basically telling you guys, I'm gonna do the rest of it off camera. Now, which that's exactly what I did. But the problem came in is when I realized when I was going back through the bag to pick out for to do the second sconce, I did not have enough crystals. I did not have enough utensils. I did not have enough. So I was like, OMG, what I'm going to do? What I'm going to do? OMG. So I had to think quick on my feet. So I decided to just cut it in half. And basically that's what I'm doing here. I'm using a kitchen knife and I'm going to use a box cutter to basically cut through the styrofoam. But before that, I'm just going to remove the bling that I did place on there and then flip it back over. Then I'm going to cut it in half with the knife as well as the box cutter. Right 
All right, so now I have two sconces once again. I was so happy at this point. I was like, yes, 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 yes. But now look what else happened. Like that's one thing when it comes down to DIYs, things happen, but it's a DIY. Just breathe through it, Queen of King, and just keep it pushing. Just keep it pushing. Don't let the, the creativity just go to waste. Don't let it go to waste. Figure out something else to do with it. So basically how I ended up breaking the styrofoam is when I was actually trying to take the light out and that basically happened. <sighs> yeah, so now I'm just basically going to take some more bling wrap and I'm just going to glue that bling wrap that I got from Hobby Lobby around it just to cover up some of my imperfections and everything like that. Okay, so at this point here, as I'm finishing up, Andre came in the room and, and he seen what I was doing. He was like, oh, mom, those look like some queen crowns. And I was like, you know what, baby, you own to some. So that's going to basically be the name that we're going to call these. So that's basically why they are some queen crown sconces, versatile, whatever you want to call it. But I figured out in the title, you guys know. But anyway, so here I'm going to use this little plaid, an old DIY, basically I'm recycling things that I got. Because, child, if y'all see how I got this stuff housed, oh, baby girl, it's just ridiculous. But anyways, I'm cleaning it off with some spray away um, spray to clean off the mirror, you know, so therefore I don't have no streaks or anything on that. And then I'm going to take some more of that bling rhinestone script or whatever from Hobby Lobby, which this one here is adhesive, and I'm going to basically just stick it on. I was going to glue it on like I did, but it actually had a very strong um, hold to it, so I was like, it's not necessary for the wood. But this plaque, once again, came from the Dollar Tree, and the mirror on it as well is from the Dollar Tree. So everything here is from the Dollar Tree, except for the rhinestone wrap, as well as the battery operated lights everything else is dollar tree so honey you can make this you can make this now here based i'm showing you, it does have this little hook on the back of it but i'm still not going to use the hook i'm basically going to screw some nails in the wall and basically hang it on it so give it some more strong and a whole support so now i'm going to measure up basically where i would like to apply some glue to hook these or attach these to the mirror but as you guys can see that little gap there I'm trying to make a gap enough so therefore I could take the lights out whenever the battery actually go dead or something like that. But honestly, I couldn't figure it out. So I said I'd deal with it when the time come because like I said, I can use these as on the wall and I can use them for the side table or use them in your room. Just a little nice little night light somewhere around your house. It's up to you. You decide what you want to do with it. So now I don't figure out my placement uh, where I can put the glue in and basically I'm going to put the glue on all four corners and then we're going to basically attach our crown to it base. Please believe me. <laughs> Please believe me. That baby came through. My baby came through. He is creative just like his mama. Just like his mama. <laughs> My little prince. All right, Queens and Kings, so this is basically how it turned out so far. Basically, I'm trying to show you guys. Now, the bottom here, I had to um, cut out some cardboard basically to give me some support, pretty much. Because if not, eventually the light was going to fall through, and I did not want that. I just deal with it when the time come for me to change it out. Basically, I would just pull this out or make some type of flap. So, therefore, I could flap it open and close, you know. Something like that. But at this moment here, honey, I was done and over with because it was like more things was going wrong. And I feel like trying to figure out a way to fix it in the moment. That's the God's honest truth. I promise you. So basically, I'm just going to secure this with some hot glue around the bottom of it. And then I had some mirror foam paper that I placed to the bottom to secure that. You guys won't see that, but you'll see it in the end. Okay. All right. All right, queens and kings, so here is our beautiful crown wall sconces, as well as side tables, lamps. But I love it. I love it. I love it. I love the idea. I love the name of it. Shout out to my little prince, Andre. But I love the way that these came out. They're so pretty and the light just reflecting 
back off from the mirror that's behind it just give an extra bling extra glamorous look and i just love the way how i look on the side table here these are so gorgeous i really does love the way they came out so i want to know how you guys feel about them do you guys like these do you like you know so would you actually make them what would you do a little bit different because i don't think i even asked you guys that question there i'm just creating and just pushing it out there but i would like to know you guys input but i love the way that these came out it looks so gorgeous on this side table here okay so this diy did not turn out how i planned for the original look but i love the way that it did turn out in the name once again i really do love it um but i hope you queens and kings enjoy this video you know i hope you guys enjoy this video if you all did please give a queen a big thumbs up as well as subscribe if you are new stopping by queen or king thank you for just actually clicking on the video but if you do consider to be a part of this family here this castle here also turn on your post notification bell please comment down below and share the video with your loved ones and as you guys can see up on the bottom i put a mirror effect paper up on it but anyways queens and kings you guys be blessed have a great day i love you guys and i will see you all in the very next video you guys continue to be royal bye bye